may or may not recognise this building. It's on London's Millbank. It's the Tate Britain, designed by an architect called Smith in the 1890s. For over 100 years, it's housed the cream of British art. And now it's sort of, well, it's rediscovering its identity as it establishes itself as the preeminent gallery of British art. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Chris Stevens. Chris, you are, you're a curator I'm here? I'm a curator here, I'm head of display, so I'm overseeing the rehang of the collection here at Tate Britain. This is a big, big enterprise, isn't this it? This is a, a, a major rehang for us. I mean, the first time we've rethought the collection for over a decade. Wow, and you are restoring this building, repairing, reimagining, reinventing? Yeah, the rehang's part of a refurbishment of a whole suite of galleries. You know, it really is a kind of re-energising and a rediscovery of, of the original Tate Gallery. How beautiful and how exciting. Is there, yeah. There's more to see. I mean, there's you're more going on. Yeah. yeah. Are they all as, as advanced as this? They're not quite as finished as this one. No? Oh, no. Oh, I see what you mean. No. <laughs> it's work in progress. It's quite magical, isn't it? Uh, when it's like empty, quiet, and yeah. as though actually you're watching the building being constructed for the first time. This is a building that's, that's grown throughout its 100-year history and we've been uh, re-examining its past and finding all sorts of wonderful stories hidden in its fabric. You've got a, a document. Well, here. this is a document actually which was found not on this occasion but in the 1980s, but it's a wonderful kind of a record of the, the moment when this building was first erected in the summer of 1897. Um, left by the plasterers, who I guess were just finishing their job. And it was hidden in a blind right at the top of the dome, so you know, not expected to be found for a long time. What does it say? This was placed here on the 4th of June, 1897, Jubilee year, by the plasterers working on the job, hoping when this is found that the plasterers' association may still be flourishing. I'm not sure it is. No. 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 <laughs> Please let us know in the other world when you get this. So as we can drink your health. Yeah. And these are the guys working here, finishing the building. I mean, exactly, the first Tate Gallery, which is, you know, a fraction of what it is now. Yeah. But I love the fact that they're obviously so proud of their profession and what they've done, that they've sort of, you know, they kind of signed off on it. Oh, these marks are really dramatic, aren't they? I mean, they, they sort of make the building look as though it's kind of degrading back to the quarry almost, but it's, um, they're, they're from what, the Second World War? Yeah, they're shrapnel damage from the Second World War. <laughs> there's, there's these marks on this side and then on the other side of the building again. So, I mean, I guess the Tate was sort of, you know, surrounded by, by falling bombs. Oh, was it not hit directly? It was, there was a direct hit. Um, and there are photographs showing the central Duveen galleries, which weren't that old then. Um, piled up with rubble from the roof. What happened to the art? I mean, had that been, was that still in there? Or no, the, that... arts, the art had been evacuated. It was taken down mostly to Piccadilly Tube Station. The director, Kenneth Clark, uh, said that Churchill had said explicitly that no works of art were to leave the country. The site was closed down. Um, there was, it was staffed, I think, fire watching. Um, and on the far side, there was a sort of area which is now part of the building, which was a outside area that was dug up for allotments and the locals grew vegetables. Great, you dig for victory. Exactly. The tent. <laughs> Over the past 10 or 12 years, every couple of years, a new Tate gallery has opened somewhere in Britain. Meanwhile, amidst all the froth of publicity and excitement, this building, the original Tate, has remained serene 
and calm. Now, its star is in the ascendancy. And it too promises a, a whole new exciting experience, or a new encounter, if you like, not just with the building, but with the art, with its contents as well. I, um, I know it's not over yet, though.